great thinker and writer George Orwell wrote, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. This encapsulates at least two important principles. First, there is no more fundamental right than freedom of expression or freedom of speech. Secondly, the mere fact that I find what you say offensive does not give me the right to stop you saying it. The first principle is and has long been uncontroversial. The second principle was, I believe until recently, relatively uncontroversial. As the former judge Stephen Sedley graphically put it in one case, freedom only to speak inoffensively is not worth having. However, with cancelling, no platforming and similar developments, that proposition now seems to be under attack. These developments not only appear to infringe the right to offend, but if they become accepted, they would risk undermining the very right of freedom of speech. Carried to their logical conclusion, the developments mean that if I find what you say offensive, uh, then you should not be allowed to say it. We all object to government censorship unless it's clearly necessary. Is censorship by a self-selecting group, censorship by the mob, censorship by celebrities any better or any more justified? The issue is, is of course complicated by the fact that freedom of expression is not absolute. Threats, incitement to violence, encouraging racial hatred and so on, are rightly not permitted by law. And connected with that is the shadowy borderline between offensiveness and incitement. But the fact that there are fuzzy edges and borderline cases merely reflects the complexities and richnesses of life. It does not justify outlawing statements simply because they upset somebody. The right to offend is not only valuable as an important aspect of individual freedom, it's also salutary for all of us to be challenged by hearing things we do not want to hear. Individuals and society generally develop through dialogue and that inevitably involves disagreement and often the clash of opposing strongly held views. The fact that you have the right to be offensive does not mean I cannot criticise you for causing offence. Otherwise, my freedom of speech would be infringed. But my criticism should not be that you are doing something impermissible, but that you are being disrespectful or ill-mannered. And as another great judge, Lord Atkins, said, the law is undermined when exhibitions of bad manners or discourtesy are treated as actionable wrongs. Mm -hmm.